Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be talking about this underwater camera from the Yo-Yo Company. So this was sent to me by the Yo-Yo Company for free to do a review of. Um, I did a review of one of their under underwater cameras last year, um, and uh, so if you want to watch that video, I will put a link up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. It'll pop up there, and you can watch that video. This is an upgraded model, and since they enjoyed that video, uh, I, they wanted me to do another review, so they sent me this here. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is, a, I think, a more of a professional upgrade to the other one I use. But let's break it out of the box and see what they sent me. See what we got here. Right there. Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. That's a hard name to say. The way it's spelled. If you just say Yo-Yo, it's fine. But if you say Yo-Yo, then it's a little more difficult. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice little carry case. Look at that. Nice little hard case. Nothing else in the box there. Okay. Um, let's open this up. See what we got. That's cool. Look, the screen is right inside the case here. Um, I don't know if it comes out, but it's it's actually just an all-in-one deal. So you keep it there. You got... This is your camera cord. Here, let's see, it doesn't really say, not sure how many feet it has, 30 feet, I guess, 30 feet of cord. Um, this plugs in. Okay, let's pull our camera out. So, it's painted up to look like a fish, I guess. I guess that's to attract fish, and I'm assuming this here is maybe you can put a lure on it, kind of dangle something out there that would attract fish to the camera. I like it's a heavy thing, you know, really got some weight to it. Here's a little bobber of some kind. Hmm, not sure. Maybe that's to let it go away from your boat or from shore, kind of let it drift out and hang it from that. I'm not sure what this is for, honestly first time I've ever seen this this here is your battery pack okay let's see here this is your power plug it in there cool so it's got an external battery pack and whoa it's got this charger here now, this is a European charger, but um, Yo-Yo did send me a separate American or, or uh, USA charger so that I could use it here and charge it. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, this, you connect these wires here to this and that. And then this here says LED, which... What's it talking about here? Oh, okay, here we go. LED. So, if you want to plug in a light, let's see here. There must be a, okay, I see there's infrared lights on it. So, at nighttime, if you want to use it in the dark, you plug that in, you can see there's some IR lights in there. Hopefully, you, that camera will pick that up, and then you can unplug those. So, you just plug it in. Pretty manual thing. It looks really interesting, guys. Um, the quality here in the shop looks to be pretty excellent as far as the detail I'm seeing on the screen here. The little screen. I mean, I mean, look at there. There's my camera. That's uh, what I'm shooting this video with. You can see. Let's let's look at the uh, the writing on the box here. See if you can uh, make that out. Got a light above me here, so it's kind of interfering with the clarity. Let me get a different angle. There you go. So you can see the uh, writing on the box there. It looks pretty clear. I mean, it looks pretty good. So, you know, the main thing is 
what is it going to do when it's underwater? And so I'm going to take it out to the lake and hopefully get some pictures of some fish with it and show you that. So um, let me get that done. I'll be back and we'll talk about how it did. You saw that footage of me using this at the lake and let's go ahead let's talk about how it did so let's start with function okay so obviously it worked um, I was able to hook it all up put it in the boat and look down and see the fish I got to the lake a little late in the afternoon so there wasn't as much light down there at about six seven feet deep where I had the camera as I would have liked so it kind of looked a little dingy but but you still were able to clearly see the fish on it, no problem whatsoever. Uh, so, you know, it worked, it performed its function. I had no, um, no failures or defects or, you know, problems with it not working. So that worked all good. Um, you know, it works as a fish camera for watching fish while you're fishing at the lake. Um, you know, I did another review for another 
yo-yo um, fishing camera. I'll throw a link up in the top right hand corner. It'll pop up there right now so that you can actually go watch that one. And that was a totally different form factor. This one is more of a briefcase with the, uh, the, the, the camera in the lid and then the, it has a separate coil, separate battery and everything. The other one that Yo-Yo sent me was an all-in-one where it basically had no case. The camera was there, the, the screen and battery and the coil uh, holder, all that stuff was all built into it. And you could, it had actually a Velcro strap. You could use it like a watch and hold it like this, or you could strap it to something on your boat. I personally like that form factor better than this all this briefcase style uh, in my canoe because this would work really good if you had a boat and a table or some place to set it. But in a canoe, this was a little more cumbersome to use. Not hard, but it just I would prefer the other one. I like the other design better, but this this one here obviously worked totally fine. Um, if you watch the footage, you see that uh, you know that you could identify the fish very good. The fish were not biting that day; they were just nibbling around. But I did do some nighttime footage, as you saw. I uh, went at night. I used the infrared lights on the camera to look at some fish and crawdad. Then I sw turned that off and just used the flashlight shining in the water. Uh, that was in pretty shallow water. I was just walking around the ed edge of the lake and and kind of dangling the camera in front of different things that I found. Found a snake, found some crawdads, found a, found some fish and stuff. Just to kind of give you a, a spectrum of things, daytime, nighttime, how you could use the camera. And the camera did great, um, no problem. So I hope you enjoyed that. It works for what it is. There's a few things I want to talk about real quickly about it uh, that uh, I need you to know. Is One is the format uh, resolution of the video. It says on the ad that it's 720p. That is inaccurate. It is not 720p video. Uh, the actual quality of the video is 244p on this camera. It's low resolution. It's not 720p. Um, and uh, it's, there's a little bit of a misunderstanding on, uh, on how resolutions go. You know, like when you say 1080p on a TV, let's, they call that HD video, 1080p. Um, that's actually 1920 pixels wide by 1000 and, uh, you know, 1080 pixels tall. So the measurement of when we say 1080p, 720p, that's how tall it is, not how wide it is. Um, they say this one is 720p, but that's because they misunderstand how that resolution works. This is actually 720 feet wide and 240 feet tall, uh, 44 feet tall, or uh, pixels tall, okay? So it's actually not 720. It does have 720 in the number, but that's the width. The actual height of it, uh, of the video, is 244 pixels. So it's actually a 244p uh, camera, not a 720p camera, okay? That doesn't really affect much. I mean, the quality isn't National Geographic, obviously. Uh, you are underneath the water. But it's plenty good enough to see what kind of fish are down there. And, you know, there I had, you could identify things fine. So there was no problem there. Um, I'm just telling you that, that the ad says 720p, but it's not 720p. Now, the real issue that I had, the only issue I had with the camera was the actual format of the the videos that come out of it in camera in the device itself it works totally fine but when you try to take the sd card out and watch the video files say on your computer uh, they won't play and that's because it's that unusual resolution 720 by 244p most players don't that's not a standard resolution and most players don't know how to play that because they're not they they're not programmed to play that resolution of video. Now, if you download the VLC player um, and you use that to play play it, it will play it. It will give you an error, but you can skip that and you can play it. Okay, so but that's the only player that I found that could actually play these videos. Uh, other players like Windows Media Player, Windows Movies and Videos, though those would not play this actual video the, the files on this camera. Now, there is a workaround uh, with a free uh, conversion program called Handbrake. I will throw a link in the description of the video to this software. It's totally free to use, no ads or anything, just free to use. It's, uh, you know, group pr produced. 
And so they, uh, the, the handbrake software, you can convert the AVI files out of here to an MP4 format. And then that will play in anything. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. But you have to convert the files using the handbrake program to do it. Um, and that's how I actually converted the files to actually show you because not even my video editor program could open these files. But once I converted them with handbrake, it's fine. So free program, easy to do, just convert them over. Um, you know, just little, little one extra steps that you have to do to be able to share them is using the handbrake. Aside from that, everything else worked good. Um, no problems with it at all. So uh, there's not much more to say about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.